Permaculture is a system of design where we look at connecting different components together. Permaculture is the answer because it's actually a whole range of stuff. It's working with the environment, not against it. The beauty of permaculture is that it recognizes the way that nature works. Permaculture is a, a sustainable way of food production. Permanent agriculture, designing systems that will actually be sustainable, that can look after themselves. This is our way is the South Africans to grow the veg. It's a way of life. This is a, an excellent solution. It will change how people think about themselves, how they think about what's going on around them. It's about time we became kings and queens out there. Children of Africa, let's wake up and rise. It's time to pick up that shovel and spade and work the soil and the ground. Let's fight poverty and hunger. Let's be employed. Viva the spirit of permaculture, viva. You don't know. So Massive, let I and I break it down to you. Our country, South Africa, is facing many problems. Unemployment is increasing on a regular. HIV, AIDS, the food price is going up every day. The poor water supply. These problems affect mostly the rural and the peri-urban communities. Things need to change. The reality of the 21st century is that we have a food crisis, an energy crisis, and a water crisis. The United Nations have identified food security as the biggest crisis facing the African continent. At this point, government has been extremely urban-centered and basically has sold the rural people down the river. There's been a general lack of funding for agricultural training, for rural infrastructure, and for agricultural development. It is interesting to know that Africa produces 50% less food than it did as a continent in 1980. What are other African countries doing about these problems and what solutions are available out there? Uganda has 35,000 certified organic farmers. Over the last three years, Uganda has seen the cost of their food come down 15%. In sharp contrast, South Africa has seen their food double with only 200 certified organic farmers in the country. There are 200,000 organic farmers in Uganda. There are another 200,000 farmers in Kenya, Rwanda, and Tanzania. And we've got a lot to learn from East Africa. So that huge number of farmers have got going over the last five years, really. Kenya alone has created two million new jobs in organic farming over the last five years. But they're also developing their local market in East Africa and it's really exciting to see how East Africans are saying we'd rather have uh, vegetables that are produced without chemicals. The current world food price crisis. Moses Mwanga from Uganda, a board member of the International Federation of the Organic Agriculture Movement, IFOM, was in South Africa to speak at the Natural and Organic Fair. Account for 80% of the food Organic agriculture is actually a faster growing industry in the world and what we are seeing is the increased interest from the consumers all over the world 
uh, for organic products. This is driving uh, more and more demand for organic products. Permaculture and organic lifestyles are more than just growing food, as Alex Kruger explains. One of the common misapprehensions amongst people is that permaculture is about gardening, or, or kind of organic gardening on a small scale. And it's quite a, a sorry thing that people think that, because it's actually a whole range of stuff. It touches from geography, design, nutrition, urban design, green technology, a whole host of stuff that's related to living. Well, it looks like SA needs to catch up to the rest of Africa when it comes to organic agriculture. But there are those who have embraced permaculture and have been training people in the art of organics for over 20 years, like John Nzera. This center, it's called the uh, Urban Farming Project. We are setting a permaculture demonstration where we are saying at a small scale, people can produce enough to feed their family and uh, sustain whatever they need within the homesteads. Mainly, this is a demonstration to train local people in uh, necessary production or plant production and also vegetable production, grey water system, the fish farming, the beekeeping farming, the livestock, and it's all integrated to make sure that uh, people can make a living out of it. A small unit. And John breaks it down for us. Now watch this. For example, we consider runoff water from the road, collecting into a swimming pool or into a pond where you can keep fish. And the water is then fertilized by fish. And then you use it for irrigating the, the seedlings or the vegetables. Here we harvest water from the road through the gate. It comes through here. We filter it through the reeds, jungas and papyrus. And then we also filter through the stones and then it comes in here into the pond and we keep fish in this pond. We have uh, tilapias, the Mozambican tilapias, and uh, they are breeding, they are multiplying so fast and it's a source of protein and also they provide manure for the, the water and the water we use it for the garden. We feed them with earthworms and uh, the earthworms, they provide also good protein for the fish. Hence the fish, they can lay more eggs and multiply in this small pond. The future here is to make sure that we have more ponds to supplement the family and also as a source of income. An important aspect of permaculture is the ability to generate income from work done around the homestead, like selling your garden vegetables and animal produce. Grey water that comes from baths, basins and washing machines can be utilized in permaculture. Water is such a valuable resource, it must be reused in the garden. The water we use for bath, the water used for the body, is directed into a system where we treat it. And this water is clean that we can use it for the garden, for the plants, and for other household uh, uses. 